Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 51. So today we continue our training on the new consumer agent sites, or the new agent sites for our consumers. Today we're going to talk about our hero text and our hero images and how we can make changes to those to better suit our agent site to our clientele and the architecture that surrounds us. So before we get into command, we're actually going to go to our agent site. So this is our dream homes in katie.kw.com. This is that uh, demo agent site we've been showing you guys. Your hero image is the image in the background. It sort of frames out your search bar here and your hero text is this text that's laid right above your text bar. So you've got your hero images and then your hero text is what we call these. Today we're gonna to walk through the process of changing out the images and also changing the text that's above here. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna find some images that we wanna actually utilize in place of the images that are being used on our stock agent site. So there's plenty of places to find royalty-free, copyright-free images. Uh, I wanna stress that that's very important, that you make sure if you are going to use an image on your agent site, that you either you own the copyright or that you have certified that it's copyright-free, royalty-free. The way that I do that is get it from command, and I do that by going back into designs. So we're gonna choose designs, we're gonna create a design, and then we're gonna choose social and next. Now we're not actually going to create a design, but this gets us into the WeBrand editor where we can click on the assets tab here at the very top. And on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose images underneath the Keller Williams Realty section. This is gonna give us multiple folders of images that we can utilize that have already been uploaded into command for our use. And you can see we've got house exteriors so which of these homes might match the criteria of your market, right? I look at this one. I mean, this screams like Miami-Dade or like Florida, you know, we don't have palm trees in Texas. So this wouldn't match necessarily the criteria in Katy. Um, we don't have a lot of kind of this style of uh, red brick, maybe row homes, if you will, um, that doesn't match. So what's the architecture that matches where you are Right, that's what you might wanna consider when you start looking for hero images for your actual site. So here's one, this sort of matches our criteria. We don't have a lot of white picket fences, but I like the photo. So I'm gonna click on the three dots. I'm going to choose download, and I wanna make sure I choose the largest formatted one available. So we're gonna go with original. You'll see that downloads that photo to our download folder. We can come in and look for some additional, if there are any inside of this, let's close that out. Uh, inside of this folder, remember you also have folders for home interiors. So you've got all of these photos that might match sort of the architecture that uh, you like to utilize or you feel like would be, uh, you know, I mean, here's the ocean, right? So we don't have a lot of homes that look like this in at least Katie, because Katie's not close enough to the water. Maybe Galveston, but the water's not that pretty. Whatever it may be, right? So find another image or two that you want to use. I'm just gonna download this one kind of randomly, just so that we have a second one to use for our hero images. So <clears throat> once we have downloaded the second image, you'll see that pops up, good to go. All right, now we wanna go back to consumer. So I'm gonna click on the profile photo here in the top right-hand corner of designs. I'm gonna log out. It's gonna take us back into command. We're gonna go into the consumer applet here on the left-hand side, and we're going to choose to edit my website. Now, when we do, we get taken into the new Bright Spot Editor, um, and I will tell you right off the bat that this is very detailed and can be very complex. Um, it doesn't have to be, and I'm gonna try and make it as simple as possible for some of these very easy changes that you can make. Um, but for those with web design ability, man, go, go to town, make your heart content, right? The page that we want to make edits to is the home page. So you're gonna see down here in our default pages section, we wanna make edits to the home page. So we're gonna click on page, home page. 
and it's going to take us into this list of different modules that we can make changes to. Today, we just want to make changes to the listing search module. So we're going to click on this down arrow. And you can see there are already three hero images that are being used in the background of our agent site. But we've decided that we don't want to use these three images. So we're going to upload files and we're gonna choose the file that we want to use. We'll go into our downloads. Here's one of those. We'll open that up. That'll take a second to upload. And once it does, it'll ask us if we wanna make any additional edits to the photo. If not, we can go ahead and upload that photo. So we'll go click on upload and there's number one. We'll click on it again to upload a second file. We'll go through, we'll find that interior photo we selected. That's this one and open it. It'll take a second to upload as well. Ask us if we wanna make any changes and we'll move forward on the second one as well. So now we have essentially told command we do not want to use the stock hero images and we'd like to use these two. Now you can continue to upload additional photos if you have some additional ones that you want to use. I'm not 100% certain on the max number of photos, so uh, you may have to test that out yourself. But you can see, let's find your dream home is what the hero text says. However, I've got this title here and I can change that. So maybe it's, let's find your dream home in Katy. Texas, All right? So now you can see what that looks like. Now it does roll over to a second line. You've kind of got to decide whether you're okay with that or not. And if I am right now, I can make some very basic changes. I can click on save. It'll take us back to the page homepage and you can see it sort of shows in the demo. And this is typically pretty quick. So if we go back to Dream Homes and Katie, we're gonna do a quick refresh. Let's see if that took, it certainly did. So there's, let's find your dream home in Katy, Texas, and our hero images have now been added. So that's it for today, guys. We're gonna do some additional modifications to our agent site here soon. But for today, I just wanted to stick to your hero image and your hero text, which basically frames out your search and where you can find these copyright-free, royalty-free photos inside of our design asset library. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We're gonna to dive into featured properties and I'm gonna show you ways that you can modify which properties specifically and the criteria that's used to determine which properties are being featured on your new agent site. As always, I hope you're doing really, really well. And I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.